Oh, this is Mark from Two Dog RC. We got the new Diatone Crusader 2s in. They came with a new flight board. This is the D Link V2. The way you can tell it's a, D, a V2. One, it's got a USB connector on it. Remember, the old one had one of these connectors and you had to have an extension. And then two, this is the back here in the front. This was tabs, and now we've got a connector on there. So, what I'd like to do is go over a couple changes on this. Uh, for the first thing, remember this is only good to 4S. Um, don't don't go be putting 5 or 6S on this. It's not really made for that. So that, that is one difference uh, on this new one. And two, make sure you read your instructions, but not too much. <laughs> uh, on the diagram and instructions, this battery connector down here is mislabeled. If you look on the PDB, this is right. So this one is the negative, and this one is the positive. Negative, positive. The instructions are wrong. So I just want to point that out. Okay, so basically what you've got here, 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 and here are where your speed controllers plug in, positive, neg negative, and then the signal wire. They don't have the grounds connected, and so far I have not seen that to be an issue at all. So this connector is for your receiver. The pin layout is just like it says in instructions, ground, 5 volts, PPM, which would be for the D4R free sky receiver, and then S bus, which is for your X4R, XM Plus, XSR, the I bus from Fly Sky, um, and then your Spectrum receivers. And then back here are your UART ports, UART port 1, UART port 2. You'll notice that your OSD is plugged into this one, which is UART 2. And then this is where your battery connectors are, your speed controller, USB. Coming around the front, this first plug right here, this is just a power out. Basically, this is VCC voltage, which means whatever's plugged into here is coming out of here. So if this was a 3-cell, then this has got the same voltage as a 3-cell battery. This is plugged into your video transmitter to give you your battery voltage in the display on your OSD. The next port over, this is your buzzer. And then this port right here, um, on the, this, this pinout, this is for a PWM frequency. Uh, so like if you're using a, a receiver where you have to plug in one channel for, or one wire for every channel. So you've got ground, five volts, then channels one, two, three, four, and then you've got your LED for the WS2811 or 1112 LEDs that are programmable. That would plug off of there. So if you're going to use uh, LEDs that are programmable, you plug into the LED wire, the ground, and 5 volts. Now, I don't know why Diatone did this because it makes it really hard for you Spectrum guys. So I just flipped the board over. Okay, so if you have a spectrum receiver, the satellite one, you know you need 3.3 .3 volts. Well, in the previous video, you could use this group here. It had one, uh, a 3.3 .3 output, but now it doesn't. So you, you have to wire your receiver up off these rails. Not off the connector on the front, on the top side. This is off the bottom. You have to solder onto these tabs. So if you're using a spectrum receiver, you're going to want to hit this 3.3 .3 volt here, then RX3 for receive 3. This is your UART 3 right here. So 3.3 .3 goes to your positive, RX3 goes to your signal wire, and then ground. You can hit use this ground or, or this ground, whatever one you want to use, you know, whatever makes it easy. You can also wire your buzzer in here too. So you've got buzzer, negative, and positive. There's a ground, there's your LED. And there's some other PWM inputs. If I were you, and I'm going to wire in a receiver, take your wires and have them going this way. So have the wire laid just like this for your 3.3. .3. So the wires are coming towards the inside of the flight controller because you've got your camera right here. So if you have your camera right there, then it's going to be hard. It's going to push against those wires. So wire them so they come back this way and not this way. I hope that makes sense. I don't, I'm traveling, I don't have 
a wire set with me, but I did bring a board, uh, which is kind of, I don't know, a little nerdy, but I know I had to make this video for you guys. And this is the current sensor now that you have on there. So you can go into con the configuration tab, select to turn on current sensor on board, hit save, and then go in your OSD and you can have the milliamps consumed in your current reading displayed. This also has a black box on board. Um, you can set that up as well. I'll have that video coming shortly. I just had to get this up here for you guys that are trying to configure things this weekend. Again, uh, thanks for shopping at 2Dog RC. If you got any questions, give us uh, shoot us an email uh, at 2DogRC.com via the contact us page. Thank you.